Hi everyone. Just a very simple and um, hopefully encouraging message today. Um, I need to remind myself of this and this is something that's been that God's been drawing out to me over the past few days. Um, and I just wanted to share a, a couple things with you. The end of Psalm 25 goes like this, uh, verses 6 through 10 say, Remember your mercy, O Lord, and your steadfast love, for they have been from of old. Remember not the sins of my youth or my transgressions. According to your steadfast love, remember me, for the sake of your goodness, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore he instructs sinners in the way. He leads the humble in what is right and teaches the humble his way. All the paths of the Lord are steadfast love and faithfulness for those who keep his covenant and his testimonies. And one of the things that has been uh, pressing on me with these verses is just this, this idea of who's keeping who. Um, in this verse, like at the end of there, it's like all the ways of God, all the ways of the Lord are steadfast love and faithfulness for those who keep his covenant and his testimonies. And sometimes I focus on that. It's like, that's that's what I'm pressing for and that's what I'm holding on to. But the whole point of this verse and the whole point of of the Bible and who God is, is that it's not completely up to me. This whole verse passage starts out by saying, that I'm pleading with God, the psalmist is pleading with God to remember, not according to the times that I lived outside of this covenant uh, as a sinner, don't remember my the sins of my youth or my transgressions, but remember according to your steadfast love and your faithfulness, according for the sake of your goodness, remember me in who you are. And that's that's this idea of God is keeping me. God is keeping, anytime I'm able to be faithful, um, it is because of God's faithfulness. And uh, I just, I wanted to finish the devotional with this thought, um, because so often I turn and make things so much about my effort or my, um, my own will and my own, um, yeah, I guess, willpower to do things. And when I fail, I get so discouraged in that. Um, and I think it's okay to be upset when we don't live up to our theology. I think there, there's a good thing about that that should drive repentance, that should drive a change. There should be a constant um, humbling in my heart um, and that's because of God. It's not because of me. So it's this this whole idea of, of who's keeping whom. Um, and I wanted to finish out with a, a quote from Charles Spurgeon. He wrote a devotional, a daily devotional. would encourage you to look this up. It's, it's some place that the Logos uh, Bible software has this free. Um, it's called Morning and Evening by, by Charles Spurgeon. And his entry for June 28th, the morning entry for June 28th, says this. It is ever the Holy Spirit's work to turn our eyes away from self to Jesus. But Satan's work is just the opposite of this, for he is constantly trying to make us regard ourselves instead of Christ. He insinuates, your sins are too great for pardon. You have no faith. You do not repent enough. You will never be able to continue to the end. You have not the joy of his children. You have such a wavering hold of Jesus. All these are thoughts about self, and we shall never find comfort or assurance by looking within. But the Holy Spirit turns our eyes entirely away from self. He tells us that we are nothing, but that Christ is all in all. Remember, therefore, it is not thy hold of Christ that saves thee, it is Christ. It is not thy joy in Christ that saves thee, it is Christ. It is not even faith in Christ, though that be the instrument. 
it is Christ's blood and merits. Therefore, look not so much to thy hand, with which thou art grasping Christ, as to Christ. Look not to thy hope, but to Jesus, the source of thy hope. Look not to thy faith, but to Jesus, the author and finisher of thy faith. We shall never find happiness by looking at our prayers, our doings, or our feelings. It is what Jesus is, not what we are, that gives rest to the soul. If we would at once overcome Satan and have peace with God, it must be by looking unto Jesus. Keep thine eyes simply on him. Let his death, his sufferings, his merits, his glories, his intercession be fresh upon thy mind. When thou wakest in the morning, look to him. When thou liest down at night, look to him. O oh, let not thy hopes or fears come between thee and Jesus. Follow hard after him, and he will never fail thee. Many ends with the hymn that I'm sure most of us know. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus' name. And pray for you and pray for myself just to remember this truth. It is not me. It is God who keeps me because of Jesus.